Hi, this is uh, the final phase of this painting that I've uh, been uh, putting on my blog. Today I've now finished the, the roses, uh, which gave me, they gave me some trouble. And I finished the tablecloth yesterday, and today I want to put in the shadow at the, at the bottom of the arch here. This arch, I, I got the idea from a book on oil painting that I have by Joanne Arnett. She does a lot of uh, flowers with archways. Always uh, the problem with these archways is to get the perspective right. I think in this case I was able to work out the, the perspective and I'm quite happy with it. Uh, then the other things that I want to finish, I want to finish the plum here, put in the highlights. I'll finish the rose, put in the highlights on the rose and then I want to put uh, sort of dappled sun, sunlight coming out of the shadow area towards here and uh, we'll work on the greens a bit and then uh, the, the painting will be finished. So I'm going to sort out the, the, uh, the, the shadow areas on this plum. The way I've learned is uh, from uh, buying uh, books on, on, on painting and then try to copy the exercises that the, uh, that the art of artists have presented. It's a good way. I think it's a good way of learning and it allows you uh, to work at your own pace. Uh, the next painting that I'm, I'm planning to do, I will do right from the beginning. I'll show you how. I draw, uh, you know, how I first compose my picture uh, using Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop is a great, uh, what I find that I'm able to do in Photoshop now is I'm actually able to see what the results will be like, you know. So I actually sort of do a, a, pr a preliminary painting uh, on, on in Photoshop. Wacom uh, tablet and it allows you to draw and paint and I find it's a, it's a great help. The thing is, you know, a lot of people, I know a lot of people who are talented but don't, don't paint because they don't have the time or the, uh, you know, the, the inclination to do it because, you know, because it, it, it is time consuming, especially if you want to paint from life. It's not always easy to get uh, models or, you know, to get the flower arrangements that you want or, you know, I, I rely a lot on photography to do my, my stuff. I will take photographs when I'm on holiday, or any place when I'm around Port Credit, I'll photograph the scenes that I, that I think that I would like to paint them in Photoshop and then when I have time I tackle them on paint what I've uh, what I've seen. quickly uh, but what I do with uh, my palette uh, I normally uh, have a palette I went to Staples and I bought one is a document to holders and what I do is I have my palette in there I use uh, disposable you know one of these disposable uh, palettes and uh, once I'm uh, done painting I'll close this and stick it in my uh, in my fridge. I have a bar fridge downstairs in my studio, and uh, I find that the, uh, the paints keep well. Now I add in highlights. 
highlights uh, to this, uh, this tree that I created here. I want to try and show uh, the light from the rising sun that's coming through 